iOS 16.6 is finally here, and even though this is not a big update with new features and changes, it is still a really important update, especially if you have an iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or an iPhone 10, as you won't be getting iOS 17 on your device. This is probably one of the last, if not the last, big update to iOS 16, so it is really, really important that you install it on your device. So once you have this update installed on your device, there are 10 things that I suggest every iOS 16.6 user should do. And the first thing would be checking your update settings. So go your settings and then go under general and go under software update. So if you have iOS 16.6 installed on your device, you're good to go. You have iOS 16.6. The only thing I would suggest you do is go ahead and make sure you have automatic updates enabled, especially the new security responses and system files. As lately, Apple has started to push quite a lot of those so make sure you have those enabled so you always get the latest security patches and the stuff that apple releases another thing i would suggest you do if you're on the beta of ios 16.6 and you want to get out of the beta program then make sure you go ahead and go to beta updates and turn it off from here so you no longer get updates of course if you want to just opt out of the beta program from apple make sure you do so so in the future you will only get the official releases of ios 16. The next thing I suggest you do every time you install a new update on your iPhone, head on to your settings and just go to general and go to the about section. You don't need to do anything here, just open this section and when there's an update for your device and there's also a carrier update, it will show right here once you get into this section. So if you have a carrier update, it will show once you go there. So make sure you go there and check if there's a carrier update for your device, of course, that is always good to be there because, of course, it will have a big impact on the qual calls quality and all that stuff that you get, all the services that you get from your carrier. The next thing should be updating your apps. Now, every time Apple releases a software update, there are a ton of apps that are being updated, of course, to support that version of iOS. So in order to make sure that your apps will work as better as possible with iOS 16.6, make sure you always have the latest versions of the apps that you have installed on your device. If you don't have automatic updates for apps enabled, go to your account here under the App Store app and make sure you have them updated or if you want to do it the easy way head on to your settings go to app store and make sure you have app updates enabled to automatic the next thing you should do is check the battery health of your device now every time you update your device you will most likely notice a drop on battery health now that's not the fault of the update but when you update your device ios will recheck all its components and of course it will show you the exact battery health percentage that you have on your device now you should do this only if you know that your device has like lower battery health and it's very close to 80 percent then make sure that you go ahead and check the battery health and see if it's still performing at its peak performance capability because if it's not if it has dropped under 80 percent that means that your device will actually work way way slower and it won't be out, be able to operate at, at its maximum capacity that way actually you will have to service the battery otherwise your device will perform very very slow when updating your device another thing i suggest you do and you should even do this before updating your device but if you haven't for, have forgotten to do that make sure you go ahead and do a backup of your device there is nothing better you can do with your data than back it up. You can do that, of course, through your computer or just go under the iCloud backup right here and make sure you have all of your data backed up because you never know what might happen to the device. That way you make sure that you have all of your data saved. Another thing I suggest you do is set up your recovery contact. Now you can do that by going to iCloud settings at the top of your settings app. You will go there under security and then go to account recovery and you will find here a button that lets you set up an, a recovery contact for your data, basically for your iCloud account. Now you can choose here, of course, maybe a family, family member or anyone that you trust. And through that contact, you will be able to actually recover your iCloud if something happens. So make sure you have this set up. That way you keep your data safe. 
Another great thing that you can do once you have updated your device, maybe this is a good time to do that, is check your privacy settings. So head on to your settings, go under privacy and security, and a few things that I really suggest you do is first of all, check the tracking right here. And then make sure you go ahead, check the Bluetooth, check your local network, of course your photos, microphone, camera, and speech recognition as well. Now, what you will see here are all the apps that actually have access to these data so you can see all these apps will actually have access to my microphone so if you see here apps that you don't want to have access to these things you can just go ahead and turn them off now another thing you should do is make sure that you go under privacy and security and scroll all the way down and you will find here app privacy report now if you don't have this enabled i suggest you do what you will find here is a list of apps and websites and what they are using on your device. So you have the network activity, data and census right there. So if I go to messages, I can see here what iMessage is using on my device. I can go to mail, for example, you can see it has used contacts a minute ago. If I take a look here, it will show me every time this app has used some of the data and sensors of my device. So make sure to check that. Of course, it's always great for the security of your device. You can see what apps are doing what on your iPhone. Another thing I suggest you do once you have your device updated, this is a good time to take a look at some things that will have a really bad impact on your device's performance and battery. Like notifications, take a moment once you have updated your device to go to your settings right here and go to notifications and check which apps are sending you notifications. If you see here a ton of different apps that are sending notifications to your device, make sure that you turn them off. These will have a really bad impact on battery life and performance of your device as well. So now it's a great, great time time to check these apps and turn some of them completely off. And last but not least, head on to your settings, go to your iCloud at the top of the settings app and go under sign in and security. What you will find here is automatic verification. Now this is a great, great feature of iOS, which will save you a ton of time. You know, when you go to different websites, when you try to sign in somewhere or do something, it will actually allow you to like complete different captures. That will take a lot of time. Sometimes it might show multiple of those. So with this enabled, iOS will actually do that for you. So it will automatically re bypass the captures that you see on different websites. So that is it for this video guys, these are the 10 things that I suggest every iPhone user does when they update, not just to iOS 16.6, but to any other software update. And even though, as I said at the beginning of the video, iOS 16.6 is not a big update when it comes to features and changes, it is still a really important update, especially if you have the iPhone 8, the iPhone 8 Plus, or the iPhone 10 which this year won't be getting iOS 17. This is probably one of the biggest last updates that you will get on your device. So make sure you have your device up to date. There are always, even though there are no features, there are always very, very important fixes and improvements that you should have on your device. So that is it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.